in order to understand the EOQ method of order size calculation we need to understand the background of EOQ see the economic order quantity or EOQ is the ideal order quantity a company should purchase to minimize inventory costs such as holding cost, carrying cost, shortage cost and order cost. This production scheduling model was first developed in 1913 by Ford W. Harris and it has been refined and reiterated over time. It is basically a formula and this formula assumes that demand, ordering and holding cost all remains constant and hence the ideal order quantity. The EOQ is a company's optimal order quantity that minimizes its total cost related to ordering, receiving and holding inventory. EOQ is given by under root of 2A0 O by C in which A0 is the annual demand, O is the ordering cost and C is the carrying cost. Now in this method the annual demand is determined by assuming that the next requirement as given in the six weeks in the example that we have taken will continue with the same pattern for the whole year. It's a risky assessment but it's a very powerful tool that you must understand. Now in a whole year how many weeks are there? 52 weeks. Since a year contains 52 weeks and the given demand is 490 for 6 weeks then what would be the annual demand? 492 oh sorry 490 into 52 by 6 and hence we have the annual demand as 4246.667 or 67. Now we have already established the carrying cost per unit per week was 0.1. How come 20 was the unit cost price and the carrying cost was what 0.5% of the unit cost price. So 20 into 0.5% that is 0.1. So the annual carrying cost would be what? There are 52 weeks in a year, 52 into 0.1 that means 5.2 per unit. Now we can easily calculate the EOQ that is given by under root 2A0 into O by C. Here annual demand we have just calculated 4246.67 into Order ordering cost O was the what ordering cost that was 50 and carrying cost that we have just con uh, concluded just calculated 0.1 into 52 that was 5.2 so the EOQ is coming as to be 285.77 or round figure we have to take because these are the units so it would be 286. Now this implies that an order of 286 units only must be placed every time. In the excel sheet that you can see here, the first planned order received for 286 units is in the week first. The net requirement in week first is only 80 units, hence the excess of 206 units forms the closing inventory for which the carrying cost will be what 206 into 0.1 that means 20.6 and the operating cost in week first is 50 and the inventory keeps on decreasing and in week third we see that it is reduced to just 16 units therefore at the beginning of week 4th, as you can see in the Excel sheet itself, a order of 286 units is again placed to receive this immediately. And we are assuming that there is zero lead time. 
so when we calculate the total cost it comes up to be 178.4 which is lesser than what we have calculated for lot for lot method in which 300 was the total cost